Welcome to Have a Happy Arty Time. My name's Jeanette and I'm back with part three of our Collagraph series. Been having a lot of fun again making these Collagraphs and you'll see here that I have some beautiful Asian buildings. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding them to some already made backgrounds. So I'm just going to line up on my piece of baking paper just where I want to put this and I've noticed some lovely white lines down here. And I think I'd like to place this here, so I'm just going to get my pencil and I'm going to put a little line just in this area here and another little line down there just underneath him so I can fit that in there. There we go. And I know roughly where that's got to be. I think I'm going to use black for this one since there's some black throughout here. And I've got another one here, which I'm going to do, which is this little one here. And I'm going to actually do it in some purple just to see what I get, how different that is. And I think I'm going to sit this one roughly just on here. This even looks like a little mountain in the background. And I may just cut this down or tear this down. And I'm thinking, yeah, probably where it goes from the dark to the light. So I'll have it above that dark. So I'm just going to put another little line there, just in pencil. You can rub it out later. Just around there and just around there. So I know that I can place that somewhat into here. Okay, so very exciting. So that's two of those. I'm going to pop it on this one. Just a thin coverage. Place our collar graph onto this and just gently press down and just lay that down where I had the spot marked. Okay, roll this on and let's just lift this and see. And yes, we've had success. I'm very happy with this and I'm going to let this completely dry again and then I'm going to do a little bit of work on top of this one. So here I am back with this one now. Now we've got the black finally on there but I'm not enjoying the black so I'm going to see how it will go if I add the purple to this one as well. So I'm going to even use a lighter purple first up. Roll some of that out. That is so much better. So I'm just going to play here, see what happens, and I look forward to you following along. Oh, this is so much better. Wonderful. So I've got a lot of nice juicy paint on here now and I'm going to be able to let this dry. Just while I'm here I thought I would quickly re-stamp this using the same purple. Been waiting to get this colour on here. And lovely. Here's the finished image. Sorry I forgot to record it but I used my white gel pens after I had re-stamped it with the darker purple. Okay, now on to our next image. Thanks. So I've got purple down here. I'm just going to go over this one like this. This is on normal photocopier paper. Okay, so it's coming off and it has worked beautifully. Whilst this is drying off again, and I'm going to just see if I can just put in a few little circles down here. There we go, that's enough for that. Now 
we'll put that off to dry. So I can see some potential in this one. So here we go. I'm going to use the purple again first. Oh yes, working really well. Okay, so I've got my dark in there now. Going to let that dry. So I came out this morning and my jelly plate was just sitting here and I noticed this little round circle or half circle here and I had a few little gold bits left on the jelly plate. So it made me think of this cutout and I thought, well, I could sit that in here somewhere just like that as a little stamp on here. And so I put some gold lines on and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some dark, dark purple onto this one here and then I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to then stamp another color graph stamp on as the moon over the top. And I'm going to then do a very, very, very pale cream using some gold and white as a background. Pull the print, see what we get. So I'm going to speed this up. Hope you enjoy. Now I do know that I want a little line, so a little line across the middle of this. So just to divide this, very gentle press here. Just adding a little bit of this into the tree. Just get his little branches looking a little bit better. And I think I will just leave that to dry. Okay, so I've mixed my gold with the white. This is dry now. Just going to put that down here. Let's get that place down now. Going to let that dry there under a heavy book. Move that out of the way and now to see whether this worked. But I am absolutely loving this print. It's got a watery, beautiful scene going on there. Just love it. So there's really not a lot I want to do with this. I just love the way it is. But I am going to add a tiny little bit of red watercolour into the background there. Just ever so lightly. And this was the little piece that I'd accidentally put on and pulled off before I'd done anything because I had the paper in the wrong way. And I'm thinking I might get this little one again and I'm just going to find a spot and place him down here. I think that will look quite nice. And I'm going to do that in, I was thinking red this time. Oh, it's going to pull the paper all off. Pull those pieces off. I love its potential. Okay, so we'll let that dry. I'm going to give it a go again. We try them again. Uh-huh. I don't mind this so far. Little bits are coming off my stamp. I can pull those back. And there's something nice. Okay, not dry enough yet, but we are definitely going to get there. So I'm letting this dry fully. Let's see, I'm just going to use my fingers this time, not worry about anything. Lovely, got a very different look here. 
pulled paper, broken paper, take that off. But I'm thinking even this can be something now. And there we go. Okay, so the creative juices are flowing and I'll leave this one there. Thank you so much for being with me throughout this journey. I hope you have a happy arty time. Stay safe. Enjoy. Bye for now.